Hey, you look nice in the uh, in <laughs> your safety you glasses. Too. Um, we have safety glasses on because we're taking water apart. How do you take water apart? Well, you do it with electricity. But first of all, do you know the chemical formula for water? Yep, H2O. H2O, good, Christina. What does it stand for? Hydrogen, oxygen, right. and two stands for the hydrogen has twice as many mo molecules than as the oxygen. oxygen. Yeah. Right, there's the ox so there's so if we're collecting the gas, hydrogen and oxygen in these two test tubes by running electricity through the water here, which test tube has the hydrogen and which test tube has the oxygen? This is oxygen and this is hydrogen. Why? Because this has more space for gas. Right. So we're collected more gas in this yeah. one, right? Okay, now let me turn it off because over here I have collected test tubes of the hydrogen and oxygen. And uh, can you line, put all the oxygen on one side and the hydrogen okay. on the other? This is hydrogen. How can you tell? This has more space for gas. Okay. This it's full is, of gas. Yeah. This is oxygen. How can you tell? Because it doesn't have as much room for gas. Right. It only has half as much gas. Okay. Yeah. This is oxygen too. This for the is same reason, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is um, oxygen. No, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Okay. <laughs> now there's a chemical test for both hydrogen and oxygen, and it's kind of tricky. So here's what we're going to do. You take this little splint, okay. and I will light it like this. Okay. Then when I bring this test tube over here, you blow it out and let it glow, and then you put the glowing splint down into. And don't touch the liquid. Just put it up on top here. Okay. Okay. What happens when something goes from burning in air to burning in oxygen, do you know? It bursts into flames. Right, it's, it gets hotter, right? Yeah. Because there's more oxygen to support the combustion. Okay, so let's try it. Okay. Wait, wait until it gets going. Okay, okay, now blow it out. Now stick it in here. There you go. Start another fire. That definitely, now you can blow it out. <laughs> that definitely was um, oxygen. Okay, now the test for hydrogen it's just the opposite. And this time I'll have to turn it upside down because hydrogen is lighter than air. And I'll yeah. light this again and you bring the flame up here near the, uh, okay. the, the gas. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Explodes. It explodes. Yeah. Now you want to blow that out? Well, the reason it explodes is we're combining the hydrogen with the oxygen in the air. Uh, okay, I now see. that you know uh, the test, we've tested those two. Right, let, let it keep going, because now okay. what should happen if this is oxygen? It'll burst into flames again. Okay, try it. There it did, okay. Now here comes the hydrogen. What should happen? It'll explode and pop. There it did, <laughs> okay. Now you can blow that out. Now, Christina, I don't know whether you probably have never done this before, but now we've taken water apart you get hydrogen and oxygen, and in this case, we combine the hydrogen with the oxygen in the air, and we put water together again. That was fun. Made some water by combining hydrogen and oxygen in the formula H2O.